Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of Energy and Star Sign Readings with myself, Thomas Janak. I know it's been a while, um, but I had some issues with um, uh, video editing after I upgraded the computer. Anyway, I'm not going to bore you with um, uh, details. You know, who cares? Um, anyway, it works. We're back. This is a brand new episode of Energy and Star Sign Readings. And we're looking at the week of August the 9th to the 15th, 2021. And before we go into the star signs, as usual, we look at the um, overall energy. And before I ask the guides to show me something, give me something with regards to the overall energy, one thing that is clear, <coughs> excuse me, is that on August the 8th, we had a new moon and that energy of feeling maybe a little restless and trying to get into swing um, will likely be felt this week because a lot of people without knowing it, um, you know, we all are affected by, by the moon, which is why I always make a big deal of it when there's a new moon and a full moon. And we had a full moon basically the, door, the, 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 the day before this week starts, so to speak. So be aware that when you should you feel a bit restless or mm, easily or you feel you may not get anywhere this is partly just energetically and energetical right so um don't make a problem out of it just remember you might be a bit on edge this week especially if things aren't quite working anyway that's just the, the moon energy that we get from the full moon and so a new moon let's have a look what the, what the overall energy tells us for this week. Again, we're looking at the week of August the 9th to the 15th, 2021. <clears throat> we have the Moose and the Timberwolf. Interesting. Since this is, like I said, it's just said, uh, a week where the new moon is, is helping us with trying to get into swing, the guides are already doing this. No, 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 no. Not this week. <laughs> because we have the Moose and the Timberwolf. What the Moose is saying to us, this is actually a week energetically for all of us to relax a little and actually step back a little and that's how that's how i how i'm getting this is to look at what we've actually got in our lives not what not necessarily what we want to achieve and what isn't quite working you know um <clears throat> so what comes to mind is for instance having a, um, a gratitude journal where you write down every day you know three reasons or a couple of reasons you know that um, make you realize how, how lucky you actually are, if that makes sense. <coughs> it actually does change your perception when you realize that there's a lot of good things in your life. So that's the overall for the week where we're asked um, to be reflective, but with a focus on things that are really positive in our lives. And we have the timber wolf. And all wolves are basically about a couple of th two things. Number one is about healing, right? Um, looking after yourself because the wolf knows if he can't lead the pack everybody's at risk so therefore it becomes apparent and is important to look after yourself well so <clears throat> excuse me this is the week to for all of us to probably just step back a little and um, yeah literally nurture ourselves and um, and practice gratitude really really important right and um, now I forgot um, my little piece of paper that tells me what star sign we're in. <laughs> so um, let me just get this. I'll be back. So <laughs> we are in Leo. So let's have a look at the energy for this star sign for this week. Let's have a look at Leo. Leos. Again, as I often mention that we have when the overall energy is there, the overall energy is not in isolation to the messages for your star sign, um, respectively individual star sign. It is um, an overall energy therefore and it seeps in to the rest of the message. For Leos, you have the Jaguar and the Doll Sheep. What the guides are saying to you is while you're reflecting on what is good, also pay attention to whether or not the, the stress um, that happened in your life 
if this has caused you to step back a little because the Jaguar has unique dots when he shows up here as a message it always says your uniqueness might not be uh, coming out at the moment might not be fully seen so maybe you are retracting from situations right so therefore nurturing yourself is important the other important thing for leo is you have the doll sheep and the sheep is basically the animal that denotes i'm hanging on a cliff on two legs and don't fall in other words <clears throat> while this is a week of not doing much for leos um, you will get where it is you want to get you just need to realize unless you recharge your batteries your journey for one of a better word will be so much more difficult right that was leo going into virgo let's have a look at virgo right <laughs> so you have the spirit of love and the dancer of fear now what that means is um as as always you know you get you get messages and you you have to apply them to your life yourself because while this feels to me that this is or the message i in the way i'm getting this message for for virgo is to focus on the people who are thinking about their relationships um, and maybe even the virgos that are looking at committing to a relationship but i will tell you the message now and you can see where it fits in your life should you be in a relationship or it is the furthest thing from your mind because you have the spirit of love and the dancer of fear what the guides are saying to you is right now you know you 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 need to, and ought to realize that you are lovable and you have the, the spirit of love around you which means if you feel you're not valued enough and you're not loved enough this is the week um where you can claim to be loved and also where you can probably you know allow yourself to love someone else and then you have the dancer of fear which means remember you will bring any and every trauma and any and every memory you still have from any relationship anything that's unresolved you will bring into the new relationship right also this feels to me that this is about self-love uh, even though the message I'm getting is really for people who who are hmm, opening up again for having intimate relationship and I mean intimate I mean partners if that makes sense <clears throat> more than just friends and the dancer of fear means that yes it might be daunting and here's why this comes up because remember you attract people on your energy so if you have gone through a relationship that didn't quite work um, and you haven't learned all lessons associated with it you might very well attract the same type of person oftentimes what i notice the universe is doing is they send you a better version because that's what you asked for and yet this person will have trigger points of the relationship beforehand right this is how we accumulate knowledge this is how we get through everything we need to learn cut a long story short what the guides are saying to you is you have a choice you can be fearful and therefore remove yourself or you can just say or acknowledge that you are and or have always been a very deep person therefore in order for you to love you have to give 150 percent and you will have to be open and vulnerable so someone else can give you their 150 percent if that makes sense right and so if you are thinking like i would like to have a relationship but i don't want to get burned again obviously then you're putting limitations on it that simply won't work so strongly what i'm feeling is is for you to realize that you are a very deep person and therefore deep people are unfortunately whichever you want to look at it you know if anything goes wrong you will feel it more but why think about this? Because that's your tensor of fear. I, I want something new. I think I'm ready. Uh, I'm not ready. <laughs> kind of thing. So what the guides are saying to you is, if you want to commit, remember to manifest higher. Remember to to manifest uh, uh, and you know what you want, and pay attention to what it is you don't want to get this into your energy as you manifest. Right? In my experience, the universe only sends you what you can handle. And even the so-called in-between people, you know, relationships that don't quite work, 
in the long run <clears throat> are all learning curves. It's, it depends on how you look at it. But to, for, for Virgos this week, this really this message is really more for you Virgos out there who are either in a relationship that needs tweaking, uh, <laughs> being being propositioned. I don't mean in a bad way, you know, where people are saying like, you know, would, would you like to do more, <laughs> right? Shall we bring this to another level? That kind of thing. Um, <laughs> and your fear might just stop a new um, chapter in your life, right? So, um, as you can see, the guides are a bit reluctant here to, to sort of say full sentences because, you know, when it comes to love and, and all experiences, really, it has to be your choice. Right. And nobody can tell you whether or not it's the right one, because obviously, you know, in order for you to know if this relationship works, you have to explore it. And it takes time to get to know people. Therefore, you know, trying to project and, and weigh up situations usually doesn't quite work. Right. That was Virgo going into Libra. We're looking at the week of August the 9th to the 15th, 2021. This is energy and star sign readings. Um, we have been uh, haven't been able to record since May, so apologies, but we're back. And Libras, you have the dancer of frustrations and the hunter of gifts. And so what the guides are saying to you is, especially remember the overall energy was to sort of not do anything, <laughs> relax a little bit and, and look at what you're grateful for. Really, really important to always check the overall energy before you go to your individual star sign, because some people just go to their star sign, maybe because of time, I don't know. <coughs> but the overall energy is just as important um, because it's the energy for this week and it's important. So your uh, message therefore is that you have the dancer of frustration and the hunter of gifts. In other words, things that will be fulfilling are already right around you. But because you have the denser of frustration, which means you don't really want to feel shit. <laughs> you don't want to feel frustrated, but somehow you do. That's why the guides are saying to you is reflect. Can you let go of that frustration? Can you channel it somehow so that it is less prominent in your life? Because remember, you manifest on your energy levels. When your energy is low, you can't really achieve anything because it can't quite manifest. So here is basically the message for for uh, Libras to remember that if your energy is low, things will move forward quite slowly. And because this is a week where the over energy was about, you know, um, looking at the things you're really grateful for, maybe have even a, even a gratitude journal that reminds you. I mean, you put um, things in, actually it makes you really think about your life and reflect. <laughs> so that's all wanted because the hunter of gifts means you would love to be more fulfilled in your life who wouldn't and this is right now within your grasp provided your frustration levels are not that high right that was libra going into the next star sign for the week we're looking at scorpio now scorpio <laughs> scorpio you have the journeyer and the shaman of tradition which means you're on the right path, keep going on the path. This is all about this energy and this message here. It's not about anything work related. So if you were hoping for any messages with regards to work this week, I'm not the guy that brings you that, right? Um, this is about your spirituality, Scorpios. And what the guides are saying is, well, you're on a journey. So don't think that this one path that you're going on, you know, is the, 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 the be all and end all, you know, um, you might just change things in a while, but you're on a journey. And the message is to enjoy the journey. You have the shaman of tradition right next to it, which means at this point in time, you will very likely fare better with ancient modalities, not because they're more powerful, but because partly they're tried and tested and they have a history of... Um, of, mm, what's the word? They, they have a history of working, if that makes sense. So, so they are, because they're tried and tested, you know that there is some truth in it. So I'm not, you know, the way I'm sort of seeing this, I'm not here to discourage anyone from newer <clears throat> modalities, but 
feeling is that you will thrive better this week looking at ancient modalities and maybe diving into that. And remember, you are already on a journey. So you have got nothing to prove to anyone. So don't think you have to prove it to yourself and you need to succeed because that's not what this is about. This is a, this is a journey. And on the journey, you're just here to, to experience, if that makes sense. And if you pick up something that you then can use to, to um, aid yourself and maybe counsel others, all the better. But you are on a spiritual journey with all its highs and lows. And so for you this week, it's just um, a message from the guides to, to maybe remember that things that are tried and tested and have a better, sounds really weird, track record, at this week, this point in time, and this this week, um, are, are more energetically suitable. Okie dokie, moving on to the next star sign, which is Sagittarius. So, Sagittarius, <clears throat> your guides are trying to reach you, apparently, in your dreams, when this comes up. That you have the hunter of dreams, which means the guides are coming in, they're trying to tell you something, you will probably have themes, um, even though the imagery might be different, you, 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 you very likely will have the same type of message being played out for you, so you pay attention. There's a couple of things about this. Um, one is that oftentimes when the guides are sort of uh, use the phrase, we're trying to reach you in your dreams, it's because in your dreams, you're finally not running. <laughs> right so they, you might be a bit too busy or too preoccupied with stuff to not really pay attention to what messages the guides have got for you on a daily um, basis right you might not see them and, and so they're, they're trying to reach you in your dreams pay attention to your dreams even though yes we're, we're entering a different um, brainwave state so to speak so whenever you wake up and you remember a little thing just write it down. One way of doing this and training yourself is to actually have a little notepad and say to yourself and to your guides, this notepad here is for a reason. Help me remember some of my dreams. And then there will be snippets that you remember. And eventually what you do is you write them down and then, you know, every day, let's just say for, for seven days, and then you look at them and very likely you will see a pattern. And that pattern is one of the, one of the messages because you have the hunter of mysteries, which means energetically speaking for Sagittarians, the way that the guys show this to me is that there is, sounds wrong, it's a weird word, there seems to be unfinished business <clears throat> in your family line. <clears throat> Excuse me. Feels like it could be, could be all sorts of things. Could be that, that, that you know, maybe some family members um, suffer from a, from a specific affliction that is hereditary and somehow it needs to be cut uh, so it doesn't happen um, to that extent. In the future, you know, so cutting ties or, or, or maybe soul retrieval could be in order. But they are hunter of, you have the hunter of mysteries, which means your soul really wants to also look at the energy and therefore the family you were born into, right? And um, see if you can heal or if it is actually painful to be born into that family um, to face that out. If that makes sense, right? So there's a lot of healing going on for Sagittarians this week, which is why the guides are trying to reach you in your dreams. And dreams um, or sleep is designed to recharge batteries, right? So um, that goes hand in hand. Moving to the next star sign, which is Capricorn. Capricorns, your main message is be patient this week. You have the Canada goose and the golden eagle. So the message is for you. And again, it goes hand in hand with the overall energy. This week, we were being told, despite the new moon happening on the 8th of August, and then this week starts on the 9th. So there's this energy of let's do something. All the guides are saying is, it is more important this week for you to step back a little, reflect, and um, pay attention to what you're grateful for. And then you have, obviously, here for Sagittarians, uh, sorry, for Capricorn, in your message is, you have the Canada goose. And that is the symbol, or one of the symbols, for, for patience. So this week you're being asked to be patient, and then you have the golden eagle next to it, which means while you're doing not much, and you are being patient, and you're not trying to rush anything, and also that doesn't mean they don't have this week. It feels like if there's anything that needs your immediate attention, you can look at it without panicking about it. Right? Another thing that's sort of that I'm getting, and the golden eagle is telling you, 
whenever there are things that would work for you, you will see them coming. It is just a matter of what state of mind you're in. If you're already in a stressed state, a lot of messages and a lot of um, symbolism that would tell you where, what to look for and stuff, um, you would block out because you're just not in the zone. And that's why they're saying to you this week, be, be patient and just, you know, trust that when things are coming your way, you will see them. They will not pass you by. And it's, it's, a, it's a, obviously a, a common truth. Whatever is for you will not pass you by. That was Capricorn. Going into the next star sign, which is Aquarius. We're looking at the week, week of August the 9th to the 15th, 2021. And um, so here's Aquarius. Remember, Aquarius, you are the water bearer. Right, if that makes sense. So you you are a person that will always attract people um, that feel like you are the person they can talk to. And sometimes total stranger can just download all their crap into you, right? Uh, because of this energy that you have. And so that's not something you're going to change uh, easily because that's part of your your imprint, for want of a better word, as being an Aquarius. And what the guides are saying to you is, look or, or realize that you are a very old soul and you have accumulated a lot of knowledge um, within this lifetime and all the other ones before, if that makes sense. And so pay attention to the skills you already have. This is not the week where if there's anything you really want to achieve, let's just say there's, you know, um, you say, like, I'm going to study this all this week. That's all well and good. You know, go for the things you want, but don't put pressure on yourself. You are already enough and you know already enough. And then you have the companion, which means at this point in time, it is also important to um, manifest a companion or reflect or even talk to the one you with, if there is one, to make sure they're not a hindrance to your growth, right? Because Aquarians, um, you have the tendency to be a bit separate from things because you're just, uh, because you're, you're this person that is inundated with other people's energy, um, you sometimes need a break. And therefore, you also need to be in a relationship or in relationships that allow you to grow and are very supportive with whatever ideas you have, right? So that's what I'm getting <clears throat> for Aquarius, going to the next star sign, um, which is my star sign, Pisces. Interesting because um, I haven't done a video in two months and here we are. So I'm always very interested in finding out um, what Pisces is about because unfortunately, somehow I'm a lazy git, you know, I do all these readings, you know, for a living for others and I hardly ever pull a card for me. So, so the, the, the energy in Star Sun readings is, is, is me remembering, oh, I'm Pisces too, let's see what there is, kind of thing. And, I, and oftentimes I don't do this outside of these um, videos. And since I haven't done videos in two months, I haven't really asked the guides for guidance <laughs> in the two months. Anyway, this is my chance. So this is for all Pisceans out there. <clears throat> and we have the elk and the brown bear. So the elk is an animal with antlers. Antlers means we are fully protected, if that makes sense. And um, the elk is also an animal that is by default rather skittish and can be unbalanced easily. So when they're stressed, they're, they're a bit unbalanced. And so this is our incoming energy for this week, Piscean. So what they're saying is right now um, we might feel a little bit out of sync, out of sorts. And that's all fine because the, the, the outgoing energy or the the second animal guide that I have here for Pisceans is the brown bear. And the bear is all about this week, just relax and heal. Allow yourself to be good to yourself. Really, really important to, um, to be good to yourself. It's really interesting because I'm getting this kiss song. It's not a crime to be good to yourself, you know. <laughs> and maybe it isn't. I, at the moment, I'm thinking about having a piece of cake. How, how about that? <laughs> Point is, this is not the week for big plans because here we are being asked to just sit back. Remember, over energy was to, to remember what we are grateful for, what is good in our lives 
and just allow for goodness to come in and self-nurture. Right? That's the week 9th to the 15th of um, August for us Pisceans. Moving into the next star sign, which is Aries. Aries. We have the spirit of truth for you and the ancestor of guidance. So, this is the week where if you were looking for what's what, this is the week where you will very likely find answers um, and find out about the truth. The truth wants out. Also, you have the spirit of truth around you, which means if you are uh, uh, an Aries that somehow is planning something or trying to change something, sounds a bit wrong, but maybe behind someone else's back because you don't want to upset them or... You know the way the, the way they show it to me is like it's 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 an Aries that is sort of trying to to get away from situations. So you're making plans so you can do that, and then you would inform the parties if that makes sense. So, you know, so it could be work related, it could be relationship related. The point the guides are saying is, the more honest you are about things, the easier it is for you to manifest things, and you have the understanding of guidance. So what the what the guides are saying to you, um, Aries, is <clears throat> you are honest. You live your truth, you know who you are, you don't apologize for it, you're not hiding. We're right here with you to help you. Don't scheme just because it is easier um, to scheme, if that makes sense. Right? So, that was the answer, the, 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 the message. Um, short and sweet for Aries. Three star signs left Taurus, Gemini, and Cancer. And now we're going into Taurus. So, for you Taurians. Um, we're looking at the week, as like I said, of August the, the, the 9th to the 15th, 2021. Um, Taurus, Taurians, you have the Red Fox and the Barn Owl. So, again, we had that earlier in another star sign. You are a very old soul. And this week, you get your main strengths and your main messages in the evening. So, if you are by default a Night Owl, that's actually a good thing this week. Pay attention to your thoughts in the evening. If you make plans um, about anything, do them when you have sort of spare time in the evening. Right? Really, really important as an energy um, for Taurians. And the other thing I'm getting is that whatever is in your life right now, nothing escapes you. You see everything. And trust your intuition that you know that what you feel and what you see is the truth and you're going to be okay. So there was Tereans going into Gemini. Geminis, you have the Panther, can't pronounce the H, not easy at least, Panther and the Grey Scroll. What they're saying to, to you Geminis is, why are you hiding? Right? You are enough you know that what you're doing is meaningful. You know that you can bring a lot to the table and somehow you're trying to, or maybe you're not even trying, it just feels to me like you're not quite going um, where your guides think you could be going, right? So this may be a self-esteem issue um, or, or maybe a bit of worry and fear and the guides are saying is don't hide because you have the gray scroll. And the Grey Squirrel sort of in a roundabout way <clears throat> tells you you have a lot of ideas, but you're not focused enough. And that is very likely because energetically speaking, you are hiding. So whoever discouraged you really shouldn't be in your life to begin with. Really, really important to learn to, to encourage yourself, right? And don't hide who you truly are because you, you came here that way. You are who you are. So if someone can't deal with it, right, pardon my French, fuck them. Right? So. Oh, I missed that swearing in my videos, actually. <laughs> anyway, that was Gemini. Going to the final star sign of this week. We're looking at the week of August the 9th to the 25th. Uh, before we go into the last star sign, um, Cancer, please press the like button. Please subscribe, it means a lot to me because people then can share the videos again. That's what I'm asking you to do. Always share the video. If it does something for you, you never know. 
um, if it does something for someone else. So just put it on your Facebook wall and let people explore it if they so wish, if that makes sense. But I'm obviously trying um, to reach as many people as we possibly can, especially after not recording for eight weeks. Uh, and this being August, which is by default always the months where not many people somehow are, are, are um, online focused for whatever reason. It is important, please, to help me with making this channel bigger. So, whew, last star sign. Let's have a look at Cancerians. Right. Cancerians, not the easiest of energies because you have the spirit of destruction and the denser of life. So, sounds harsh, it's not meant harsh. What the guides are saying to you is, whatever isn't really working in your life, be honest about it. The spirit of destruction is to realize that somehow something that might be quite destructive for your soul, maybe a situation that feels has become stale, acknowledge it and decide, no matter how difficult this is, I'm going to manifest what I really want and make this happen rather than feeling unfulfilled with what I got. And remember, your overall energy was about, you know, the gratitude uh, um, journal and, 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 and seeing what you're, what you're grateful for. Point being, for Cancerians, something that isn't really working in your life and that's holding you back needs to go because you have the spirit of destruction, which means it is your job um, as it always is, because this is about you, yourself, and you need to or ought to bring about change, if that makes sense. Don't ask other people to constantly help you, you know, because you need to um, have the drive to say, like, no, I, and it's not about the drive, but it's like, like saying, I just, once you realize I deserve more, that's a start. That's when you can be given more, if that makes sense. So that's what I'm getting for, for um, Cancerians, to be more self-aware and therefore change situations where you feel like I wouldn't wish it on my best friend, right? Because you have the denser of life, which means if you look at the situations that aren't quite working and then um, manifest change or, you know, make phone calls, whatever this is about. My feeling is this is about um, a situation, this is just one of the situations that God showed me, where someone feels a bit boxed in and while that situation is livable, it's not really what you wanted. That kind of situation. That's, that's how they show me the imagery for Cancerians. And the answer would be is while you're actually in a place that is not super unsafe, you know, it's just not where you feel you truly belong, right? Look at what you're grateful for, look at what you really got in your life, and then manifest the change because you have the dancer of life, which means dancing always sort of means pussyfooting. What they're saying is so you want to have a better life or not. Are you saying like, oh, this is just what this is this is what I got and it's good enough? And then the next day you kind of go like, well, it's actually not quite good enough, right? They're asking you to reflect properly on how you truly feel. And it's nothing I'm getting for Cancerians, and I'm not saying you're scheming, but the energy I'm getting is that that some Cancerians, at least, at least that's what the guides give me, um, can be like, oh, you know, um, this is a good situation. It ser it suits me, it serves me. And it might actually mean that there are people that you know will help you either way, but you're not really feeling it. Uh, and so um, you string them along because for whatever reason they can do something for you. And I'm not accusing you, that's just the energy the guides give me for, for cancer this week, is to, is to realize that sometimes because you're not... Um, taking the bulls by the horn and say like, okay, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to manifest the life I really want, which means I stop dancing, I go for the life I really want. Um, you sometimes have people there uh, in situations that are really helpful and you just prolong all that because that's easier than, than having to probably go through another set of upset to get to where you really feel you want to go. Right, that was all. And that's all we got time for. First video in eight weeks. <laughs> all good. <clears throat> now that the video editing software works, which was a big, big problem, um, I will do this much more often as usual. Right. So again, please subscribe. Thank you all for, for, for watching. Please share this widely. Right. And um, if you have any feedback, leave it in the comments. Right. And that's all I got. See you soon.